Good morning to everybody. It's a great uh, pleasure and honor for me to introduce Ellie Wiesel. Ellie Wiesel is one of the most important voices in the world of today. He is an outstanding leader and guide who speaks with unquestionable moral authority in a time of violence, suppression, and racism. Elie Wiesel was born on the 30th of September 1928 in a small town, Sigit, in Romania, at that time belonging to Hungary. 16th of May 1944, Hungarian authorities deported the Jewish society in Sigit to the Nazi camp Auschwitz. He witnesses that his mother and sister were forced into the gas chamber. Together with his father, Eli was sent to Nazi camps in Bunawerke and Buchenwald, where his father died a few weeks before the camp was freed by the US Third Army. Eli Wiesel lived for some years in Paris, now alone, without friends and working permit. He became interested in literature, philosophy, and psychology, and has written a number of books in these fields. He holds the title of university professor, and he has received more than 100 honorary degrees from institutions of higher learning. A main message from Elie Wiesel is to forgive, but not forget. The worst enemy of love, he says, is not hate, but indifference. On this background, he speaks out against racism, ethnic cleansing, and terrorism. He's a real humanist, and his work is a great contribution to peace for what he received and indeed deserved the Nobel Peace Prize 1986. I have had the pleasure and honor to cooperate with Wilsell over many years. In my capacity as Minister of Foreign Affairs, we were co-organizers of a conference in Oslo 1990 about the anatomy of hate, with freedom fighters as Nelson Mandela and Václav Havel as participants in a historic, crucial time for both. As Prime Minister of Norway, I cooperated with Elie Wiesel about a conference in New York in 2003 about the root causes of terrorism. A main message from Wiesel was that humiliation, humiliation is a root cause of extremism and terrorism. And over the last three years, the two of us have initiated two reports together with Václav Havel on the humanitarian and human rights situation in North Korea. Elie Wiesel is a fighter against humiliation and for human dignity. He is, with his personal history and current engagement, the best example of human dignity made real through a tireless commitment to the ideas of humanity, tolerance, and peaceful coexistence. It's a great honor to leave the floor through a video screen to Nobel laureate Elie Wiesel. <laughs> 